So until recently, there hasn't been a fantastic way to build and integrate an online course directly into your Weebly site and to be able to teach your online course from your Weebly site. This is something that we wanted to address for ourselves. We, we are an online course company. Uh, we, we sell and teach courses online. There's so many advantages to keeping your course on your site. There's a design element where you can create consistency between your course and the design of your website. There's branding consistency. There's the notion of not having to send learners off to a separate you know, website or domain to be able to keep them all on one site and also just to take advantage of some of the third-party add-ons that are available uh, in the Weebly App Store and have that talk to your website, uh, talk to your online course and, and create connections between uh, your online course uh, as well as uh, some of those cool functions that are in the marketplace that we believe. So before we go any further, make sure to check out our course launch blueprint. It's a free PDF that will help you plan the entire course building and selling process. And so from the very beginning of thinking about a course to building it and then to launching it, it's going to walk you through every step give you specific to-dos, specific emails that you should be thinking about writing up and launching um, on the day of your actual launch, on the first day of your launch, all the way to day seven. It's a great way to ensure that you're doing everything right to sell your course successfully online. You can check it out by clicking on the link below in the description. So lots of good stuff, lots of good reasons to do this, and I want to show you how we're going to do this. Now the good news is we have a free plan where you can do just this. You can build a course in our platform Alish and stick it right into the Weebly site. You have uh, the ability to add YouTube or Vimeo or any other, you know, you can use Amazon S3 to store your videos and put those links right in there and you'll be able to, to um, take advantage of how easy it is to build a course. Let's get into it. I'm going to go to the home page here and I'm just going to go down and look for the Weebly icon. Click on that and I'm going to get a nice how-to which gives us exact directions on how to actually do this on our, our own Weebly site. So first, let me show you what we're going to be inserting into the Weebly site. Let's look at the course. So here's the back end of, of Owlish, the app, and uh, we're going to get into this particular course. This is called the Clinical Interview Course. It is a real course that we teach to our online learners. It's, uh, it teaches dental concepts, as you can see. And so it's actually being used. We have it right now being hosted on a WordPress site. But let's also add it and show you how easy it is to add this also to our Weebly website because, you know, the nice thing about um, Alish is that you can actually put your course on as many different platforms as you want and, and host all these courses simultaneously. So um, it gives you a lot of flexibility in that sense. So now quickly just to show you how simple it is to create a new lesson, I can uh, add a new lesson here, um, name it whatever you want. Um, and then I can go in, I can upload videos, I can embed a link uh, if the video is off-site somewhere, uh, and then I can enter um, my, my text content or images or whatever like that in the content area. Um, so that's, that's the course building experience. It's quite simple pretty much. And actually I'm going to delete this one because I don't really need that. Um, save it and let's actually now put it into our Weebly site. Okay, so I just logged into my Weebly backend. I'm just going to go to my, I've already created a, a course. You can create a free course on Weebly quite easily, or, or a paid one if you want. But let's go into the backend um, of the actual site if we click on Edit Site. And the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, again, I'm following this instruction here, uh, these instructions here. So I'm going to go to the Settings and then SEO area. So um, on my Weebly site, I can go up here and then the SEO area. And this is where I'm going to put my footer code. Now, what's nice about this is um, I can go into the settings area and then go to platforms. And all I have to do is click on the platform I want to integrate this in. So the name of this, we'll just call it Alish Test. And let's grab the um, URL that I need. And it's not showing me here, but maybe it'll show here. So I can just grab this URL right now. I'm going to go back to the app here and just type it, paste that in. And so, about that. And then all I have to do is click on where it says client ID, and I'm going to be able to get some scripts that I need. So, I'm going to grab this, 
copy that, and then come over here, go back to my SEO box, and I'm just going to paste this right in there. That has everything it needs to put a course on any page, but now I need to actually uh, make a page for the course to, to live on. So the first thing I'm going to do is, let's see, I already have a few here, but let's let's do a new one here, standard page, and I'll call this uh, clinical interview. And so I'm going to disable the header just because it's kind of big and over overwhelming, I think. Then I'm going to go up, and again, according to the, the rules up here, I'm going to look for uh, the embed the embed code basically so let's go up there I'm gonna go back to build here and I can go and look for the embed code I think it's right here and let's drag this over here it's the embed code and once it's in there all we have to do is click and click the edit button and then I go back and now I can see down here this is what I want to copy oops copy that in there and all I need to do is find the course ID and replace that with the number so uh, the nice thing is I can go get that pretty easily just go to my courses go to the one I want to embed and up here 68 is the one that I want to go for so let's put that in oops 68 all right so we're ready to go all we have to do now is publish and let's take a look at the course. So this is the home page. I'm just going to go to the new page I built, Clinical Interview. And this is the course overview here. So you can see the um, description that I entered here shows up. Oops, sorry. Shows up as well as a way for people to um, start the course. So they can click down here. And they'll be taken to our lecture hall view. Uh, where they can go through and start taking this course now. They can watch the videos, um, they can run them at any speed that they want, and go through lesson by lesson and uh, enjoy the course content. And then mark, mark complete as they go, and um, by marking complete they'll you know, be able to figure out where they left off, and also you'll, as a course creator, get uh, statistics about how people are doing, how students are progressing through your course. So that's mostly it. I mean, there's a few other things that I, I don't have time to discuss in this video about styling. You can style this in any way you want and override the styling um, and change colors, all that stuff. So that's all uh, available. Uh, and also, there we didn't really get into how people can you know, purchase the course, um, create an account, all that kind of stuff. So there's, there's more elements involved. But just wanted to give you an idea, a quick idea in this video of how simple it is to get a course going on your Weebly site. Again, not having to take them to a brand new website with a brand new login, all that stuff. It's all baked in. Now, if you're interested in learning how you can add an online course to your Weebly website or to any website platform for that matter, make sure to check out alish.com with two W's. Also, don't forget to grab our course launch blueprint. It's a free PDF that walks you through everything you need to know in order to launch and sell a successful online course. You can grab that by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.